Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss AWS Cloud Computing and how to create your account on AWS. I am Mr. Venkatesh Bingi working as an assistant professor in CSE department of Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. After going through this video, you will be able to create your own AWS account and also able to explain various cloud providers. So let's start. So before, before starting uh, the account creation of AWS, we discuss what exactly cloud computing. Cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of compute, power, database storage, applications, and other IT resources through a cloud service platform via internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. And cloud computing provides a simple way to access servers, storage, database, and a broad set of application services over the internet. A cloud service platform such as Amazon Web Services owns and maintains a network connected hardware required for the application services while you provision and use what you need via a web application. So basically, cloud computing is accessing the services on the server through internet and you need to pay for the same. So let us discuss the different types of cloud computing. First, public cloud. Public clouds are owned and operated by third-party cloud service providers which deliver their computing resources like server and storage over the internet. The best example of public cloud is Amazon and Microsoft Azure. The second type of cloud computing is private cloud. A private cloud refers to cloud computing resources used ex exclusively by single business or organization. A private cloud can be physically located on the company's on-site data center. So basically private clouds are owned by the organizations and it is suitable for big organizations like Microsoft, Cisco, Infosys. For them it is affordable and usable. The third type of cloud computing is hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud combines public and private cloud bound together by technology that allows data and application to be shared between them. A hybrid cloud gives you business greater flexibility and more deployment options. So basically it is a combination of above two cloud computings. So you can get uh, the advantage of public as well as private cloud in the form of hybrid cloud computing. So these are three different types of cloud computing. Next, top benefit of cloud computing. The first benefit of cloud computing is the cost. For example, suppose you want to use Microsoft Office for two, three days. So in order to use that, you need to purchase the license copy of Microsoft Office. If you are using cloud computing, you don't need to purchase it. You can use it for the time being for two, three days. So depending upon your requirement, you can use software, you can use platform, you can use any service on internet through cloud computing. So the cost involved for cloud computing is very less. And the speed, as you know, the day by day, the speed of internet is getting faster and the cloud is available through internet. So their services are also becoming faster. And the resources which are required for providing cloud services, they are also using high end configuration boxes. Because of that, these services, the application services all are available at very fast speed. The next advantage is performance. The biggest 
advantage of cloud computing is the performance according to your requirement you can get high performance uh, servers from cloud providers for time being depending upon your requirement fourth is global scale this is a one of the biggest advantage of uh, cloud computing here according to your requirement you can increase the capacity of your servers and if it is not required you can decrease the capacity of servers for example the best example of global scale is flipkart flipkart uses cloud computing with global scale as a advantage whenever they want to offer something during peak period that time they extend their hardware capacity by using this feature for 2 3 days after that again they decrease their capacity so here the advantage for the flipkart is they don't need to purchase entire hardware for 2 3 days so that is the biggest advantage of cloud computing next is security security within the organization providing security within the organization is one of the challenging task if we give that security managing part to the companies like aws or microsoft they have better infrastructure and they have better resources to secure your data as well as applications and services so the data which is there on cloud is more secure as compared to the data which is there in your traditional computer these are the benefits of cloud computing and next cloud computing service providers so there are many organizations who are providing uh, cloud uh, computing services the top 10 and next few more are here amazon web services is one of the biggest uh, cloud computing service provider next microsoft azure google cloud platform next adobe vmware ibm cloud rackspace red hat salesforce oracle cloud sap verizon cloud dropbox so these are some top organizations which are providing cloud computing services among this amazon web services as one biggest market share in the cloud computing domain after that microsoft azure and google cloud platform and remaining organizations according to their requirement they also provide cloud computing services and they have also their uh, different services next creating account on aws cloud computing so you need to click on this link this is aws portal link once you click on this link you will go to this page so here you can create your own aws account in order to create your own aws account you need email address and you enter email address then you enter complex password and you give aws account name i give as a va bingi 123 then you say continue so once you enter this you will get an verification code to your account so you open your email address here you will get your account verification code once you click on it again you will go to the same page and you say sign in to existing aws account
so here you enter your credentials which you entered previously next enter your, your password sign in so once you sign in you can see this aws management console now here you can see your account now this is your account id this is your account name and this is your password and these are the contact details of the account owner and these are the some of the alternate contact numbers which is not mandatory and here you can secure your uh, security settings and this is one more imm user and roles access to billing information and uh, this is one more account contact information so like this you can set up or configure your personal account so this on home page you can see the services so this is how you can create your aws account now you pause this video and answer this questions do you need credit card or debit card to create aws account second question which company is market leader in cloud computing pause this video for some time and answer the question yes you need credit or debit card to create aws account and Amazon AWS public as is the biggest market leader in cloud computing after that Microsoft Google and IBM these are the references